Hello, this is Megan Horniman, the Chief Investment Officer for Verdant's Capital Advisors. We're coming to you today with our regular segment of Markets with Megan. We're going to talk about some of the housing data that we received this morning. And we got new home sales in September. So these are newly constructed homes that were for sale. Actually, it was a surprising jump that we saw for the month. And all four of the regions, the South, the Midwest, the Northwest, and the um, Mid-Atlantic all rose for the month. We saw the median price of uh, new home sales, new homes though, that dropped for the second consecutive month. And on a year-over-year basis, it's been dropping consistently. It's now down 12% on a year-over-year basis. Just to put that in perspective, it's the worst annual drop we've seen since the Great Recession. Um, what does this mean? Uh, new home sales, This is they're quite volatile. Um, these, are, these are newly constructed homes. The rest of the housing market is still really kind of at a standstill. Um, when you look at existing home sales, they're, they're basically at um, a non-existent. And when you look at mortgage applications, which also came out today, mortgage applications fell the lowest level we've seen since 1995. So the rest of the housing market is still basically paralyzed. Um, the new home sales, as we mentioned, was, is a quite volatile series. What does this mean, though, um, when, when you get these different mixed data within the housing market? Um, the broad housing market is still quite weak. Um, it is going to strain economic growth, and it's basically locking people in their current homes with very little mobility because interest rates are so high. The 30-year mortgage rate is approaching 8%. And with the sell-off we're seeing in long-term treasury yields, it's likely to go higher. And so there's continued stress on the existing home market. The drop in prices, though, that's going to be welcome news to the Fed because one of the things the Fed is looking at is the housing costs, the shelter costs. These are going to be more correlated to existing home sales, but we have seen such a pretty big drop in new home sales that we're hoping that'll filter into um, some of the existing home sales market as well. That's all we have today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to podcasts at verdance.com. Thank you.